Ladies and gentlemen, this has been long in the making. Welcome to my most requested video of all time, that being a Stardew Valley character tier list. Just glancing over it, it looks like it's not updated for 1.5, so we have no Leo, no Professor Snail, no Birdie. Okay, Abigail. The most overrated character in Stardew Valley. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna lose a lot of you right at the gate, but please just let me explain myself. Abigail's cool. She's cool. I, I, yeah, like, she's she's pretty cool, but I just, I always thought she was kind of boring. I don't know. I was never that big on Abigail, so it's going in C for me. Alex is kind of just an ass, but he's but he's got, like, an interesting story, so I think they balance out. I'll put him in C. He might be going to D later, though. This is, I mean, like, the bouncer, literally the only thing he does in the game is say no stop, so yeah, F probably. All he does is limit my fun times. Caroline, I said in a recent video that Caroline's only personality is a broken marriage, and I feel kind of bad about saying that. My C tier is gonna be full by the end of this, dude. Okay, Clint. Okay, here's the thing. Clint sucks. All right, I'm not gonna try and defend Clint. Clint sucks. Is Clint? Does Clint deserve F tier though? Cause yeah, he's he does suck, but he doesn't actively make me angry. He just kind of makes me like, ugh, you're kind of annoying. I feel like we gotta save F for those like really particularly infuriating people, and the bouncer as well. Clint's going in D for me. I. I think I'm gonna go with D. Same with Demetrius is also a D for me because he's, I don't like him. He's mean to Sebastian and also just, I think he's kind of snobby. I'm not, I don't I don't vibe with Demetrius very much. The dwarf? The dwarf would be a C tier character if not for Z's drawing of a dwarf from our scribble.io video. So um, I'll, I'll put him in B for that. Okay, Emily. We're not getting a lot of my favorites. Emily, I mean, she's fine. I don't know. I keep saying that. This video's gonna suck. I'll put her in B, because I really don't know where to put em Emily, unfortunately. Granny Evelyn. Whoop! C and S, my darling. Ooh, okay. I shouldn't know. I, I should rephrase that. Granny Evelyn is great. She's nice. She teaches you how to make cookies. She's sweet. She's just a nice... She's nice. George is another S for me. Not because he's nice, but because his, like, personality, the grumpy old man... I vibe with and the fact that he has character growth already already sets him apart from our our fellows in the C tier What is this guy? Is this Gil? Is his name Gil? Does he do anything? He just kind of sits in a chair. That is pretty tough though. I do like the chair life. I'll put you in B Gil. Grandpa. Okay, here's the thing about Gramps. He does really hook you up a lot of times. Grandpa does hook you. I mean, he hooks you up with the whole f ass farm. Okay, wait, hold on. We don't see a lot of Grandpa. All we see is him just say like, You're so good. Good job. So proud of you. So, like, mm, 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 I don't know. Eh, I don't even. I'll put him in C because we don't really know him that well. Same with Governor. Gunther. Gunther's fun. Gunther's a cool guy. He's he's got he's got a fun outfit. He's a little like snobby, but in like a funny and enjoyable way, not in a Demetrius or Elliot way. I Gunther's a B for me. I enjoy Gunther. I enjoy him. Gus. Welcome to S tier, Gus. He's nice. He's, he's Gus. He makes munchies, dude. That's a free S tier as far as I'm concerned. Haley. I don't, I mean, I don't really interact with Haley that much when I play. She seems like she's, at first, it's like, oh, Haley's the worst. But especially like the charity bake thing is fun. I don't think she's that interesting though. I'll put her in with D. And her heart event with Emily frustrates me. So yeah, I'd say D is a nice spot for Haley. Harvey. Harvey's nice. He's a nice guy. He's pretty cool. He's nice. He's fun. I'll go with B. A is still empty because A is a very specific type of person. So I'm saving, I'm saving A for for more winners. Also, the more I think about it, the more I want to put Emily in B because I really just don't. This dude, are you kidding? These are some deep cuts. Goblin man. He's funny. May he does, he's, he is the mayonnaise man. Uh, sure. Jas is nice. I mean, of the two kids, I very much prefer Vincent. So for me, Jas is like fine. I don't want to keep filling up C, but the thing is, Jas is not on level with these four for me. So I just, I got to keep filling up C. Jody. Jody is, Jody's cool. I like Jody. Uh, I'll, I'll put Jody be. Jody's cool. She's nice. She she doesn't mess with me too much. I like you, Jody. Kent. Okay. He can be a dick, but he is a veteran, so you kind of have to let that slide. He's a pretty cool character. I like that he moves in like during year two. He's very mysterious. Um. That being said, I'll put him in B just because he's fun. 
He's very mysterious. I, I, as you might have noticed already, I like the people with strong and interesting personalities because I find them more fun. Oh my god, dude. Don't even talk to me. He doesn't show up on the tier list very well. Just You already know he's there. You don't have to. Oops, I right click. Okay, there's not enough room on the capture to make an extra tier for Krobus, but if there was, he would have his own tier. Best character in the game. Un un undoubtedly. Leah is an example of an A tier for me. I love Leah. She's great. She's an awesome character. I just, she doesn't have a strong enough personality or character growth to fit an S for me, uh, but she is still great. So Leah's a strong A for me. I, the art is cool. The salad and <laughs> cheese. Lewis. What is there to say that hasn't already been said about Lewis? He's a tool. I mean, but he's interesting. You know what I mean? The whole, the whole like smuggling a golden statue is so hype and an absolute power move, which is why Lewis is another D for me because I don't like Lewis as a person because I am human with a correct opinion, but he's interesting. I don't know. He's an interesting guy. And that's, I like that. It's more, in, it's, it's more fun. It's cool. I like, I like characters that are multi-layered. Linus. Ooh, uh, Linus is really treading the line between S and A. Linus used to be like my favorite character, but then I realized that he is a pretty one note person it's a lot of his dialogue is never that interesting because it's a lot of just like out here in the woods hashtag out here in the woods his dialogue reads like instagram captions you know what i mean i'll, I'll go a with lewis because i do like it. i'll go a with linus because i do like him very much he's a nice guy marlin he is fine but it, it, <clears throat> marlin would be a b but i think the fact that he has the hots for marnie is really cute so that elevates him to an a for me i think marlin is a strong a he's a sweet guy he's cool eye patch man i do love eye patch man marnie is a d because she never freaking sells me animals she's always out plus her affair with lewis is uncomfy she's nice enough but like man your shop you lazy idiot smash that subscribe button maru is like pretty cool i mean i don't know her that well she's she's cool though she's she's a cool person she is like the favorite child though which lowers her to c just by relation because it's so sad how demetrius clearly hates sebastian very uncool morris morris is a oh here's the thing morris is a great character morris is a great character like yeah morris is bad but i'm not rating these on how good or bad they are i'm rating them on how much i like the character and Morris, as a character, is an A. He is so funny. I love Morris. Like, he sucks. He's the direct midpoint between Jeff Bezos and Mr. Peanut. <laughs> and that's why I love him. Mr. Key. I've never liked characters whose whole personality is just being mysterious. You know what I mean? Oh, he's a mystery man and he can do anything. Isn't he so cool because he's such a freaking mystery? It Doesn't that make him so cool? I don't dig it. I'm throwing Mr. Key in D. I'm gonna be honest because he just bores me because it's it's too one note pam it makes me furious and the thing is and it's not even like in an interesting way like lewis where it's like a funny way she's just obnoxious so pam is an f for me i do not like you pam i do not like you very much penny is an a penny is a penny and leah i feel like are great like twin examples of the a tier wonderful characters just lacking a little bit of something that pushes them up to s pierre Pierre can suck my ass, dude. Pierre's going straight to F. He's just the worst, and like it's similar to Pam. I like I, I would take PM over. I would take Pam over Pierre, just because Pierre is so frustrating in such a relatable way that like I know so many people who remind me of Pierre. He's bad to his family. He's bad to the world. He's bad to God. Robin is an A or S. I'll go A. Robin is an A. Wonderful character. She's great. She's cool. She's nice. She treats her children equally. Take notes, idiot. Sam. I don't know, man. I don't know about Sam. He's like similar to Abigail. Sam and Abigail, I put on the same level of like boy and girl. They, they're from, they're similar to me in that they're both just like nothing to me. And I'm sorry. Better than D tier, at least. Sandy. I don't, I don't know Sandy that well. I guess she's interesting, but I don't know. It's a bad Sebastian is an A tier as well. See, look, our A tier has filled up quite nicely. He's cool, but in like a way that Abigail really isn't. You know what I mean? And that's not be that's not me being sexist. I'm just saying Sebastian feels like he has more layers to his character and more stuff going on in his life that's really interesting. Shane. Okay. Shane is so difficult for me because he is my favorite bachelor, if Krobus doesn't count, because he is so interesting. But definitely I don't think 
he has earned an S. I think Shane goes an A for me. Because again, he's not a great guy, but he has a strong character arc that is interesting. He's interesting. This is what I crave. I crave interest. And Shane gives that to me, which I appreciate. Vincent is a B because he's nice and funny and a, just a better version of Jazz, but I wouldn't say he's on par with any of the folks in the A tier. I'd say B tier is a nice home for Vincent. He's fun, he's funny, he's like a fine comic relief, I guess. Willie, oh my god, Willie is wonderful. He's so sweet. He's just a he's just a nice person and he covers you if you sell him shitty fish. He'll be like, "Oh, I caught those. They're pretty bad." But if you sell him good fish, he'll be like, "Look at he look at the new farmer go." And I love him for that. He's honest, he's sweet, he's fish. The wizard is like a I'll put wizard beats here. He's interesting at least, like, but in like a kind of okay way. He's similar to Kent in that like they're fun presences, but not anything super special. I'm gonna put them next to each other. Look at the buddies. That's it, looks like. That's, yeah, that's my list. And if I were to order these five from favorite to least favorite, it would be Krobus, Willy, George, Gus, Evelyn. One, two, three, four, five, in that order. If you agree with any of my takes, let me know in the comments and smash the like button. If you disagree with any of my takes, let me know in the comments and smash the like button. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.